hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel so this particular video is about the problem right view of a binary tree now this problem is frequently asked by companies like amazon echo light and adobe etc so without any further delay let me start with the given problem statement it says that you are given a binary tree and you have to find the right view of it right and what is the right view right view of a binary tree is a set of nodes visible when the tree is viewed from the right side so now one example is given here let me start with this example so let's say i am standing somewhere on the right so the question is what are the nodes that will be visible to me see the first node that i can see is this one after this i can see this three then i can see this seven and then i can see this eight right and all other node will not be visible because of these nodes right you can see that this seven is hiding uh, the node six five and four so now the output will be one then three then seven and then eight the order that i'm following is top to bottom now let me take one more example so let's say i have one then i have two here then i have three and then i have four so the node that will be visible to me is uh these three nodes right so one three and four is the output for this particular example now i hope you have understood the problem statement so let's talk about the solution okay so i have written one example here right and for this example see our task is to print the right view of this binary tree so how we can print it let's try to pin the right view first then only i will talk about the intuition and the approach so i'll start from this point this node is visible to me right you can see here so i can write one in the answer after this is this node visible no this is not visible but this node is visible right so i'll write three in the answer and after this is this visible no is this visible no then again this is not visible this node is visible right so i'll write seven in my output now see there is one interesting thing to observe here what i'm doing here is i'm traversing every level of this tree and then the only node that is visible to me is the rightmost node of the current level, right? So let's say, uh, like in the previous example, we have a node 8 as well, right? So I'll write node 8 here. So now you can see uh, that this node vis will also be visible to us, right? Because this is again the rightmost node of the current level. If this is a label, then this is the rightmost node and the only node I can say. So 8 is also going to be included in the output. So now I can give you the intuition that level order traversal can be used here, right? We are going to traverse every level and then we will just print a simple like rightmost node. So let me write the step. The first step is level order traversal. Level order traversal. So we have to perform the level order traversal and only after this we can print the rightmost node of the current level, right? rightmost node uh, node of each level okay now i hope you have understood this particular approach so let me show you how we can implement this particular approach see if you guys are aware of how level order traversal work then this approach will be clear to you like we are making a new queue then we are first we'll first add a root element to the queue right and after this we can perform the level order traversal so how we perform level order traversal let's say i have again a given tree one then two on the left three on the right then again four on the left five on the right then i have six and seven so for this tree let me explain how level level driver cell box so i'll start with the first element right i have added root to the queue so i have a queue and this queue is going to have value one first right and each time let me tell you one more thing that each time the queue will be representing a uh, like the current level that I need to traverse right Q is storing the current level let's see how so I'll start with this node and I know that the first level is being currently pointed by the Q so I will uh, like I will traverse every element of this level so I'll get the Q size which is one and after this I'll start a loop for each level see so how to traverse each level we are simply going to get each particular node one by one right so for this time I have only one node so I'll get this one after this i'll say that okay if the left of this node is not equal to null then i have to store in the queue so now this one is not present right because i have dq uh, that particular node after this uh, see if left is not null then i'll store two here and if right is not null at the same moment then i'll store three as well so now you can see that there is no other uh, value than this one right so i'm done with this particular loop now you can see here that this queue is now representing the second level right so i have two and three of the second level then again i'll do the same process and when i do the same process then it will say that okay 
it will first start with the 2 right and now 2 is removed from the queue and I'm only left with 3 so I have 3 only after this I'll add 4 and 5 when I traverse this particular uh, node right so I add the left and right child as well after this I'll uh, start with 3 then I'll say that okay now the left and right of 3 is 6 and 7 so see here there is one interesting thing that for the first iteration I was starting a uh, I was like running a loop of size 1 right and what is the last element the last element is uh, size minus 1 because i is smaller than size so size the minus 1 is last element and size minus 1 is equal to 1 so it will add 1 to the answer after this for the second level again uh, the size is 2 here now right and for size 2 the last uh, node is present at 1 right so whenever i the value of i is equal to 1 i will add the data so i will have 3 because the last element is 3 now the queue is pointing to this particular level right which is the last level so again i will start a loop uh, for i equals to 0 i smaller than 4 then i plus plus and whenever the value of i is equal to 3 which is 0 1 2 3 so i have to print this node i'll get 7 in my answer right so i hope you have understood this particular approach right this is the first approach that we have and what is the time complexity of this approach so the time complexity of this approach is o of and right we are not traversing more than n nodes because this is what level order traversal is about and along with this what is the space complexity that we have so see space complexity is something that depends on the height of the tree let me explain you how so first of all i have one node in the level one which is two raised to the power zero right after this for the level two i have two raised to the power one nodes then in the level three i have two raised to the power two nodes right so how it works it actually i just need to get the height of the tree so whenever the height of the tree is three then three minus one is the value which is power here right so see at max i can have these many elements in the queue at time right so first i have one then i have two elements then i have four element here so this is the maximum number of element which is totally dependent on height of the tree so i'll say that the space complexity is 2 raised to the power height of tree right so now i hope you have understood this and the next approach is just about optimizing the space complexity right so now let me start with the next approach so this is a kind of recursive approach and for this approach the idea is quite simple i'll start with the first node and then i'll keep moving to the right direction right and see this is the recursive approach so when i say moving to right direction then i'm actually talking about calling the same function for the right uh, root dot right right so let's say i have a function which have a parameter root so i just need to call this function again uh, for the root dot right direction now when I keep moving to the right, so along with this, I have to print the node as well. So I'll simply add to the answer, right? So I'll simply say that answer dot add current root data. Once you have done this, so your task is done. But see, this is a recursive function. So again, you need to handle the base case as well. So if my root is equal to null, in that case, I need to stop, right? So I'll simply say that return. Okay. Now, this is the first implementation that we have and you will say that this implementation is wrong right the reason is we are not considering this 8 but this 8 should be the uh, part of the output because it's visible from the right direction and now the question is how we can handle this case so handling is quite simple see whenever our root dot write is null then it is going to return and whenever it is going to return then i have to call the same function for left direction as well so that it can move to left direction and it can get this node 8 as well so i'll simply say that okay call the same function for root dot left now i hope you have understood this but again it creates a problem the problem is see when i call a function for root dot left and root dot root dot right and root dot left then it will be actually traversing every possible node in the tree and I'm printing the node without any condition or I'm adding to the answer right so it will like blindly add 2 then 4 then 5 and then 6 to the answer but this is not right this is not right this is actually uh, going to give us the wrong answer so how to handle this in order to handle this I have to make sure that I only print the node I only print the node or add to answer when I visit a level first time there's a reason why because I'm calling the function for right direction first right so whenever I visit a level first time then it's sure that I will be, I will be pointing to the rightmost node so let me explain you how let me explain you how let me change the color first okay so currently I'm at this level and this is level one right so you can see here that this is the rightmost node so I'll simply print this one after this I'll come to this particular level so I'm 
coming to this level first time and this is level 2 and so I'll print 3 after this I'll come to this level right and this I'm coming to this level first time so I'll simply print 7 after this see there is nothing to traverse uh, further so I'll simply backtrack I'll come to this particular node and when I come to this particular node so you can see that I'm traversing this uh, particular level second time what's the guarantee that I'm traversing second time so the reason is let's say this is the previous level that I was at right and this is the current level which is 2 so previous level here is something which is smaller than okay previous level is greater than current level so in that case I don't need to print the node in that case I have I don't need to print the node I just need to move right and after this I'll come to this uh, particular node why because once I'm done with the right direction then I'll come to the left direction so I'm calling the function for left direction so I'll come to six node right and the current level is three and the previous level is three so the same level so if my previous level is greater than equal to the current level then I don't need to print right I have to avoid this condition so I will only print the node when my previous level previous level is smaller than level is smaller than current level how I can uh, like say that see I first started with this one then let's say previous level was zero so previous level is smaller than current level I am simply printing one right after this my previous level will become one and my current level will become two so you can see that current level is greater than previous level so again I'll print the same uh, data after this I'll come to this so previous level is something which is smaller than uh, like current level current level is 3 and previous level is 2 so again I am able to print the data right so I have to make sure that whenever I call uh, like I print the answer so I have to make the previous level equal to current level so I'll say that now the previous level is equal to current level right so the moment I print the data like I print this 3 then I make previous level equal to 2 when I print 7 then I make previous level equals to 3 like this right okay after this you can see that I'm calling the function for root dot left so whenever I move to like from this one let's say this is level 1 so when I say I'm moving to left or right so I'm actually moving to one level down right and this is level 2 so I'll say that level plus 1 each time I have to do level plus 1 so I need a parameter level as well and level is initially equal to 1 right and my previous is equal to uh, 0 right so this is how we can uh, write the recursive implementation for the function I hope you have understood the intuition and approach so let me show you the code now okay I'll start with the uh, like I'll start with the level order traversal first so this is the approach one right level order traversal uh, implementation is here you can see that there is nothing much to explain because it's very simple implementation and I've already explained you the pseudocode so there is one case that we are handling and we are not handling this in Java and Python all you need to do is you need to just perform the level order traversal and you have to make sure that you always print the rightmost node of the current level right now let me show you the recursive implementation so this is the recursive implementation you can see that we just need to keep track of the last level or previous level and the current level right and whenever I'm visiting a level first time then the node that I'm pointing to is the rightmost node of the current level so I just need to print it or add to the answer I hope that makes sense to you right and initially I'm pointing uh, like I'm passing level 1 right initially I'm at level 1 and I'm pot uh, like I'm passing this particular uh, last level or previous level uh, by address here right and here I'm using a reference variable uh, in Java right and similarly in Python as well so this is all about this video I hope you guys like the explanation thank you